If you guys are new here or you haven't been keeping up with our videos, we bought this boat for 100 bucks. We've been putting an insane amount of hours and work into it, and it is completely transforming the boat. So go check out some of the last few videos, get caught up, and I hope you guys enjoy this one where we continue the transformation. Today is the day. What day, you may be asking? The day that the cabin sides finally get primed, which will make a huge difference right off the bat because like all the wood is showing through. <laughs> it's going to be like instant gratification and then we won't get that gratification again until final top coat number three. In the meantime, primer number one, two, and three is going to be happening today and tomorrow. Then we'll spend a day sanding and then we'll get the top coats, one, two, and three on and then we will move to the deck and then the aft deck. Lots of work still to go, but today is going to be a nice, fun day of seeing transformation. It's been looking pretty rough while we've been doing all the sanding just because all this wood has been showing through, but it will be covered up today. And while we're walking by, how nice does this look? Uh -huh. Jetty is not gonna be a fan of today's mission because we're gonna have to lock her inside while we paint because she has a tendency to like rub up on the walls. With all the other painting we did, we left her out and she kind of just moseyed around. However, this time we're painting where she rubs up again. So in order to prevent any more red hair that's going to positively end up in it, we're just gonna put her inside today. Good morning, be a good doggy, good girl, go on. That was the most frustrating thing in the entire world. Why? I don't know. Do not use big rollers, first of all. Second of all, the spaces where you got a pain are so small and then your butt's touching pain and then the pain's getting all over my freshly sealed rails. Yeah, that was frustrating. Like there's probably drips because I couldn't go back to get the drips. And then it's so frustrating because I tried so hard to like prep well. And now like the sanding in between is going to be even worse because I couldn't like get a smooth stroke or like roll or anything. <laughs> but at the same time, now that it's all white and not splotchy, it does look better. That took so long. We thought it was going to be fast. That yeah, took we hours. It, we thought it was going to be easier than the fly bridge, but it was harder. <laughs> We just got done with our second and third coats of primer on the cabin sides and the front and the hatch. And it was so much easier because we used our normal little four inch rollers instead of those monsters that I used yesterday. I just thought that we had a lot of surface area. I didn't realize how much work it'd be to get around the frames with those big rollers. So lesson learned, definitely use small rollers unless you're doing a big flat surface. Yeah, because the small rollers even worked for a lot of the window frames. Like we could use the brush so much less today, which yeah. took us such less time. So we got done with that so fast. And then it versus the brush, like brushing all the little small spots, it comes out so much better with the roller. And yeah, we could and reach get in. on with the roller. Like you notice when you do like a brush stroke, like you can still like see the wood. Yeah. But then if you do it with a roller, it's like covered. Guess what we get to do tomorrow? Any guesses? Come on, throw them at me. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> There's lots of negatives about sanding. The one plus about sanding in between the primer and the top coat is that it's a super high grit, so 320. So instead of all the normal stuff where it makes your hands really, really rough, my hands are so smooth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ok, 
Okay, would you like to know what eight hours of sanding has gifted me today? Really interesting tan lines. <laughs> it's been a long day, but tomorrow we get to paint. Okay, big day today, top coat number one going on the cabin side. When we were walking Jetty last night, I thought of something and I was like, oh, we should share that online. I'm really happy how we broke this up into different projects because each time we kind of learn something a little bit more, what we should do or shouldn't do, what is working, what's not working. We could have sanded everything, the hull, the flybridge, the decks, the cabin sides, everything, and then painted everything all at once. But that would have been like months and months and months of sanding with no like light at the end of the tunnel, no view of a completed project, no like extra like, ooh, this is looking great, just months of torture. But since we did it section by section, we finished the section, we get to stop sanding, we get to paint, it looks beautiful, we get to see that, oh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, this looks amazing, and then we go on to the next section and we sand, and then we clean and paint and do that whatever and then move on to the next section so it's broken up and i think that has been working very well and we've also learned like little techniques that are and are not working throughout the day like when it's super super windy we have to add more reducer so the rolls are smooth and not like bubbly we learned that with the deck upstairs like we should change how we did the non-skid so the non-skid doesn't get up on the clear part so that will help us with the next section of deck so if you're undertaking a big project, maybe think about doing it like that in sections and not wearing yourself out, sanding for months, and then getting to all the painting. I think how we did it is good, but to each their own. Now to paint. Okay, final coat today for the cabin sides. Yesterday we did coat number one and it recommends one, two to three coats. We're just gonna do two. However, yesterday we didn't put any accelerator. It was pretty warm yesterday, but it did get cooler at night. I probably should have had an accelerator. I didn't, so there were some spots that got a little bit cloudy. Yeah, so like 90% of it looks amazing, and then there's like two or three spots where it's like, oh, that part's not shiny, and you can tell because the part next to it is like so shiny. So we'll add that today, and then we'll be good. So it's like, yeah, that is so shiny, and then if you go over here, it's hard to see with the lighting, but this part is cloudy. The paint gets cloudy if basically if moisture gets on it before it's fully cured. So what happened is yesterday was warm, but it got cold pretty quick in the evening and then dew forms. And when the dew forms before it's completely cured, that's moisture enough to make it a little bit cloudy. Like I was pretty surprised because it was warm yesterday. Quick. But warm as in 74, like not Florida warm where it's... Yeah. That was probably the borderline of whether we should have used accelerator or not, and we didn't. Today we will. We only did one coat yesterday, and you can do two to three coats depending how thick you put it on. But after one coat, we got some really good coverage, really good hide, and it's looking amazing already. So we're just probably going to do just one more coat, and as long as it looks good, we'll call it at that for this part of the boat. So we'll make sure it's got accelerator and it cures fully, and it's going to be nice and shiny when we're done. Next time on Tula's Endless Summer, we venture below the waterline to tackle the running gear, we check out the through holes, and reveal the bottom color. See you next time! <laughs>